Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. The Monday Mayhem wrap up. I have no plan, but I am at Sorgatron, Michael Sorg, uh, mm-hmm. at Sorgatron on the Twitter, and we got a lot of stuff ready for you tonight. At least we got a lot of people to talk. First of all, from the deepest reaches of uh, upstate New York, uh, the only Mayhemer with a future endeavor letter from the WWE. It is Mad Mike. I actually have not looked at a map to see exactly where Beacon, New York, is recently. Well, to see yeah, it's much I further. Mean- is you'll it? you'll have to come here eventually. I do need I to mean, go so check out Beacon. In probably, you know, oh, roughly a year and a couple months. A year and a couple months? Oh, is it? The leaves will be turning. and Yeah, the, yeah. Oh, upstate New York in the fall is amazing. Stuff stuff will be happening. I, I may I may be putting a ring on this, Venga. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> also with us is Nick Farah. He is a... What's up, guys? Uh, ring announcer uh, for several promotions uh, in the area and out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, literally, because the one's West Virginia. That's where I first met you, over at Black Diamond. That's home to me. You know it what is. I mean? But it turns out home is actually 10 minutes away from here, and we, we went and saw a wrestling show together a oh, couple yeah. weeks ago. Uh, we're like, oh, you're here, too. Let's watch <laughs> wrestling. Right? Uh, <laughs> That's how but also do it. Uh, officially with Angel Gate ring announcing? Officially with Angel Gate, yes, nice. sir. Nice. So, which uh, I pay-per-view this weekend. Built in plug that I didn't even think about. Hey. There you go. Uh, so thank you for joining us. You're hey, here to talk man. whatever the hell we talk about on Mondays these days. Oh, it was man. a lot of New Japan last last week. You know, I haven't uh, I haven't had a chance to really catch up with New Japan. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed. It's in kind of impossible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lately with that. Well, it uh, depends. If you, if you don't have a job or a life, it's very easy to catch Listen, up. Listen, but... no, no, no. Or your Matt Carlin's that you get off work right after that the show has happened. So you just go home and watch the show. That That's makes fair. a lot of sense. Uh, Ron, Ronnie Starks is in the chat room Ronnie. as well. Uh, Brandon's with us. Rollins two belts tonight. Hashtag Sethi. Rollins two belts. Sethi, Sethi two belts. Sethi two belts. Sethi oh two belts. That's what oh. I'm officially going the with. The tides have officially changed. Oof, there we go. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> but there is a lot of, of course, I want to try to start with, you know, Raw is not always good to us every week. So we want to talk about what it Whatever has been good to us this week. So, Raw was great. So, oh it, it, well, God, yes. and sometimes Raw is the great thing because Mad Mike, we are in bizarro land with no, Mad Mike. Sorg, Sorg, you know what it is? Mm. It's they actually have tried. They, they've tried. There is an effort gone into this. Do Sorg, they really have do a choice? Know, though? Do you want to know how much they tried? Mm. Baron Corbin got fired from his job at Ruby Tuesday to wear <laughs> Dean Ambrose's ring gear. Hey, at least somebody's using it, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm okay with it. But by, by the way, so do you want a brief Lego update? Uh, all right. Before we get into it, what is it's, the brief it's very, Lego? It's very small. I have a Lego stag Patronus now. Oh, that sounds ward- like a Harry Potter thing. It, it wards off Dementors. See? Here's a Dementor. And beat it the fuck up. <laughs> and win. Uh, well, for me, I, I got to um, I got to, to take part, at least on the video side, with uh, two shows. Uh, our friends down at uh, the the Tresslers and Jesse the Mark uh, with uh, Stomp Out Cancer three yeah. hashtag Sorgi two shows. Poor Sorgi two shows. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> damn it! You're not you're not gonna be able to get rid of that. I can't one, get yeah. past that one. Um, That's an officially a hashtag now. Uh huh. Sorgi two hashtag, shows. Sorgi two shows. But Sorgi two shows. I, we uh, and. Uh, we, what the hell am I saying? Uh, <laughs> awesome Stomp Out Cancer 3. A lot of people coming together, uh, including uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling's Chase Owens against our friend Lee Moriarty on that show. Uh, it was uh, it was a lot of fun uh, for that. And also, I realize I haven't heard the Bullet Club theme for a while. Uh, so <laughs> uh, it was it was it was fun. Um, really not happy with the State Athletic Commission because <laughs> uh, you really need a doctor to start the show. And you need to make sure the doctor shows up and the doctor knows that is not screwing up the day uh apparently but um other than that no it was a fun show great to have a, a, a cool group of people uh from pro wrestling uh area and and out uh, as part of that seen a lot of really cool matchups i want to recommend of course lee and chase owens uh is definitely there's some clips up on uh now uh, uh also 
uh, Beastman and Dominic Garini. I think I'm getting that name right. Uh, he's the bone collector up in uh, uh, out of AIW school in Cleveland. This guy, it was so. What if an MMA guy fought the Beastman? Oh boy. Uh huh. Uh huh. You ready? You thinking about it? Someone who who collects bones. Beastman has a plethora of bones. Also, I'm going to get my monster and pour one out. Uh, R.I.P. At least a third bone. Second that I've witnessed. Oh no. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh no! Uh, yep, got kicked out to the concrete. What's he's up? gonna have to. He's gonna have to go back to medieval times to get another one. I know, I know. Not cheap there at uh, medieval times. But anyways, I by the way, hi a... Tina. Tina just joined us in the chat. Yes, room. yes. Tina, uh, you you missed uh, hashtag Sorgi two shows. <laughs> Making sure that hashtag gets around to the nation. Mm-hmm. Thank you so yep. much for that, Mike. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, is your mic off over there? Did you did we hit the switch? Check the switch. Towards you. And we're go. back. All right. Hey. And technical. Ah. It's like it's not like he works with micro microphones for for a living in wrestling. Come, or come anything. on, Sorg. Give me a break. Just one time. Just go give it up one time. Just, just no. give it up one time. No, that's RWA. They, that they don't have a show this weekend. But anyways, <laughs> uh, no, a uh, fun time with that. And uh, what was what else was there? Gory the Whisper was fun. Um, a lot of uh, uh, cool uh, six man tags. Uh, Crumbles and Defarge, uh, it's always good to see them. Uh, uh, there's a lot of Shakara on the show, too. So I know Riz is going to be very interested in that. He was very excited about one of the uh, storylines that apparently creeped into the pre-show uh, from Shakara. Those guys are everywhere. It's cool to see. Um, also, we were in a new location in Springdale uh, for Rise, uh, for kind of a, a spot show. Again, seeing MV Young and Peyton Graham, uh, a fun uh, a street fight. Maybe not so much for MV Young. Uh, but uh, or that trainee that got power bombed, uh, but <laughs> it was a good time. That's okay. The venue was carpeted, uh, and also had these. Oh uh, well, the carpeting protects everything. And whole, had all these weird chandeliers. It was very difficult to figure out the lighting in there. And uh, and since there was there were skylights, and then and then a storm hit, and then we came back and we had to reset all of our exposure. And it's slightly different than the. It, it was. I, it was. It was really weird. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Tick-tock. Wait a minute. It was, so, a, it was a VFW in like Springdale. But <laughs> you just said, thank God it was. Car- so now not only does it freaking hurt, mm-hmm. now you got rug burn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, and that's supposed to be better? Well, and who knows how long that carpeting has been there? You oh, know, God. Been- now you got STDs nice, involved. It was a nice. No, they weren't on the show either. <laughs> um, it was a really nice <laughs> venue. Um. So uh, those are both up. Uh, worked. Uh, I don't know, Sork. Sounds like a violation. Mm. Uh, Ronnie, where you at? Mm. That, that's for Ronnie in the chat room. That's for Ronnie in the chat room. Yeah. Um. Ronnie two violations. <laughs> uh, actually, Ronnie two gimmicks. Because Ronnie uh, Ronnie Starks followed me to both of these shows too. Um. And uh, I, I questioned. I, and I questioned his wardrobe. Uh. So <laughs> there was that too. Um. No, a lot of fun with that. Those are, of course, all both shows are up on IndieWrestling.us, IndieWrestling.network, and I finally finished the Sean Phoenix benefit from um, from May, and that's up on those platforms too. Sorry, guys. Thanks. Sorry, um, it kind of got lost in the. You know, it's like a wrestling show gets lost in your couch cushions, and you pull it on, be like, "Oh shit, I, I should share this with somebody." There. And now bonus wrestling for everybody. Uh, so that's out there into the wild. So see, but that's what I love about this. There's so much content. Mm-hmm. Like and you can't go anywhere without it. No, no. We're gonna get so much more content. <laughs> oh it's no. Gonna <laughs> We're gonna get October is gonna be a long month. Sword. Is it? Is it's it? Gonna a, it's gonna be a long month. I don't know. Have you seen my schedule? I, I don't even know what my, my October looks like right now. Sorg, I'm just looking at television. Oh, a television. <laughs> oh God, I forgot about October. Hey, did you know? Te- did you know there's wrestling on television? Sorg, uh, Sorg. Sorg there's gonna be a lot of television televised wrestling. Before we get into that, Nick, what's your what's your awesome wrestling thing of the weekend? You 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 participated and viewed some, I think. Uh, from this past weekend? Yeah, or I'm thinking the weekend before we were Yeah, it was about. the weekend before. I actually took a full weekend off, mm-hmm. surprisingly. What? I know, right? I, um, I mean, I, I, I like, I watched some, like, old school stuff on, uh, on the network, and then, like, mainly, I mean, when I say I'm off, like, I'm, like, I'm not ever completely off, because, like you, you're always doing something. Mm-hmm. So, like, I started on the, uh, like, the highlight reels that I do. And just try to get this, you know, some of those done. This way I'm not sitting on it till last minute. Um, 
But honestly, I mean, this past weekend was kind of just like a relaxed weekend. I went on the network. I, you know, watched some old pay-per-views. Um, I watched The No Way Out from, um, was that 2004? The one where Eddie won the title? Ooh. Yeah. And, like, I went back and, like, it, it's just, like, the, the stuff that I, like, I love watching is the stuff from, like, whenever I was a kid. Mm -hmm. The stuff that, like, really got me into it. Because... And I, like I try to go back and I try to find the stuff. Do you remember? Do you remember? I can't remember the name of the promotion. It was a promotion out of Puerto Rico. Um, they used to do it on this on the public network, um, and it was in some baseball field. One of the guys' last names was Fully, but it was it was shot in Puerto Rico. It was always you know it's always WWC. What was that? WWC. That might have been it. Or Wrestling Council. Mm. That might have been it. Okay, but just like and I and I, I I try so hard to find that old stuff because like that's that's the stuff you know that got you into being a fan. That's your jam, man. Exactly. I was I actually found because somebody was like, you know, what was your first wrestling or something like that, and mm -hmm. and I was mistaken. I thought my first show was in 1999, uh, but it was actually in 2000. I was trying to track down that show at the Civic Arena. I believe it was April 2000. So I will officially have been going to wrestling, going to wrestling. Um, uh, 20 years in April. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Also weird to me that I did not watch professional wrestling in person in the last century. Wait, what? I, I didn't watch my first show oh, like until in, 2000. Okay. Like, and I had, the, I had a lot of years, like I was 18 by the time that happened. So you gotta, re you gotta remember one thing with me. Like you, you, sometimes you're going to have to break it down. I got blonde moments. That's okay. I'm one shade away. <laughs> okay uh what about you mike what is uh your awesome thingy majiggy of this week uh i'll say bits of raw bits of raw yeah why not mm -hmm. well, credit where credit's due the credit fact... where credit's due raw, raw was pretty good tonight oh yeah the I'm, fact I'm that good. they had a match right away mm -hmm. i mean we had to have Dolph Ziggler spouting idiocy. But did you see? Bit, but, but did you see the 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 genius strategy of lulling Roman Reigns into a false sense of sleeping? Uh, I, I from mean, a Dolph Lord Ziggler knows, promo. Dolph has been doing that gimmick for years. So yes, it's it's nice yes. he finally capitalized. But to follow it up with a with a with a super kick to the big dog to start us off, I think that worked really really well. Mm hmm. Yeah. And and sword. Matches had me look, me meaning tonight. <laughs> um, I can't believe I just said that. That's we had very weird. well, what, we had a we had a title yeah. change. We had a king, uh, king of the ring matches. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, we had... and we only had about thirty-one minutes of Jerry Lawler, mm -hmm. and he didn't have to talk to any ladies except Renee. Yay! <laughs> there was a threat of him talking to ladies. There was a massive threat, and I was very annoyed. But then the and then, came and saved the way. And then Sasha Banks made it all better by hitting Natalia again. <laughs> but did you hear the line? Did you hear the line? Oh, go to hell and tell your to... father I said hi? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so, That's all right. amazing. <laughs> so, okay. That. I laughed. My fiance was like, oh, my God. That was awesome. <laughs> and then my, my, all right, my awesome thing. My fiance's reaction: Can she come out with two slings next week? <laughs> Natalia, two slings. You, yeah, Natty, two slings. Natty, two slings. Do you, <laughs> Natty, two slings. Do you do you do you miss the days where where wrestlers were actually really horrible people, and that's what made it entertaining? I think we're back. Yes. I mean, between that and then our our faction situation with the uh, Orton revival and uh, the OC. I mean, it, it, like your your it's big guy legacy. It's what? It, oh no, top guy legacy. Top guy, top legacy? guy legacy. Yeah, top guy has no bottoms. Gotcha. Top guy. Top. Whoa. What? Wow. Whoa. You just took it there. Hold on, Sorg. I'm pretty sure we know Wharton's a bottom. <laughs> Drop the PG. <laughs> <laughs> there was a parental uh, advisory at the beginning. That's the <laughs> only time he comes out of somewhere. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Anyways. Um, <laughs> See, this sorry. definitely isn't a PG show. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so, so, anyways, I hope the kid's not listening. Um, no. Nah. <laughs> sorry, I, I'm, I'm, I'm catching up. Are we going to get a Lizzie headband moment from Sasha again? Oh, remember that? Izzy, is it? Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Probably. 
uh, Izzy was the uh, Bailey fan in NXT, who I think Effie has wrestled, by the way, yes. since. Yes, yes, um, Effie has wrestled her. Yeah, yeah. Um, she's going to be the next AJ Lee. Uh, <laughs> but by the way, speaking of AJ Lee, she is co-writing the Glow comic. No way. Huh? Yep. One, there's it's a Glow like, comic. Two, the, she's writing it. Uh, one, there's there's been a Glow comic for a little bit. Uh, mm-hmm. A couple months, mm-hmm. but there's a new Glow comic coming out called Glow versus the Babyface, I think. Mm-hmm. And AJ is co-writing it. Well, I mean, did you really expect? I mean, then again, we I think we would all seen or thought we would have seen CM Punk back by now somewhere in some faction. Well, some people no. still think that's happening at the end of the month. I'm not going. I'm not going to comment on that until I see it for my own eyes. Oh, I don't think it's happening at all. Mm-hmm. Well, I think I think people are delusional into hoping that's going to happen. Well, here's here's where everyone's getting their you know their panties held and jump, is that whenever they release the AEW um, banner for it, and it being in Chicago, they mm-hmm. put the stars on there. And I don't think a lot of people understand that those they stars are not that. CM Punk. Those stars no, are Chicago. A, yeah, it's the flag for Chicago. Watch Chicago or... PD, guys. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, watch Ferris Bueller. Okay, I've never watched that. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just going to shut my mouth. Hold wait, on. wait, 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 wait. Hold, hold on. We got a problem here. Ferris Bueller? No, I've never seen Ferris Bueller. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Mike, 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 I got one last thing. I got one that's the last straw. Nick. Yes. Have you seen American Pie? What does it feel like? Okay. All right. Oh, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. That's a reference. That's a reference. You got it. I got it. You got it. What about, what about... Rookie of the Year. I've never seen Rookie of the Year. He's out. He's out. <laughs> the show. He's out. He's off the, the Rookie show. of the Year was sitting exactly where you were sitting about a month ago, and he corrected me on facts I got wrong. That's right. That's right. Well, damn. <sighs> all right. I yeah. mean, I'm just gonna take these off and. Let it, no. Uh, all right. <laughs> hold on. You you can stay for uh, um for one one exception. Okay. You go to your local Target. Okay. Uh, I don't shop at Target. Come on. Go to your local Target. They have Starbucks. Okay. Yes. <laughs> buy buy Rookie of the Year for five dollars. Okay. Mm-hmm. Watch it, and come back with a review. You know what? I think I can do that. Okay. I think Excellent. I make you guys a promise. Excellent. Okay. 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 You can stay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You can stay. <laughs> you could probably rent it for cheaper on Prime. You probably could. You could probably even rent online. it for like. Listen, yeah, you could. Whatever is going to give a penny residual How? to Thomas e. and Nicholas. Whatever. Yes. Yeah. Well, is friend of or, or is friend it, or is of it Nicholas Ian Thomas? Wait, what was no, it's name? Thomas Ian, Ian Nicholas. Nicholas. No, I said it right. right. Okay. Sorg, friend of the show. Friend of that's right. Friend of the show, the rookie of the year. Yes. Hmm. Friend of the show, Henry Rowan Gardner. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, now you just make me feel like a piece of shit. Thanks, guys. It's what you we do best here on the Monday Mayhem Show. You Welcome to the party, the... pal. And plus, you... this is your first time on the Monday Mayhem Show. You got to get hazed. You're right. You, yeah. you got to get hazed. <laughs> hey, yes. Welcome to the big leagues, Rook. <laughs> I mean, Ronnie made it two weeks, and then he his back got thrown out. So, I mean, you know. Oh, see, Ronnie, this is what happens when you don't follow the law. And Lord. now I'm be looking for a comment from Ronnie. It's just something smart ass he's going to say. Gotta love it. We got an update <laughs> from Brandon in the KC. Uh, he says the Steve Austin show is stupid. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we expected, but I, oh, I expected something stupid. I've had it on a little bit, uh, like last week while we were setting up for the show, and it was just like him basically doing his podcast, but in like a a, a, a Baja car or something uh-huh. while yeah. they were driving. So it's like coffee's. It's like it's like uh, comedians having coffee, but without the coffee or the comedians. Yeah. See, I was a big fan of his, um, his like Stone Cold pod- podcast. Mm-hmm. I liked the the specials that they would do on the network. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, this, I just, I don't, I don't get it. Yeah, it doesn't seem like. I mean, listen, listen. You can throw a wrestler at the wall and hope it sticks. Well, I hope it sticks like those things I got from Dollar General. They were the sticky Roman Reigns. Um, <laughs> and and sometimes you're going to get a miss and misses, and you have some amazing television. Sometimes yes. you're going to get a Stone Cold does shit, and it's not going to be great, and Brandon's not going to like it. But people um, are going to watch it anyways. It, yeah, but but people are going to watch No, no, of people course. People are going to watch listen, it. Listen, listen. I, listen, I visited a hospital today. 
people watch some stuff. Okay, it's wow. this is why cable. Okay. This is why cable still exists because hot it's takes from full, Sorg. It's full of stuff like the stupid Stone Cold Steve Austin show, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. but but with less Stone Cold Steve Austin, so they're less tolerable to the rest of us. Um, but then again, they also probably think pro wrestling stupid. And what are we doing here tonight? Well, I mean, fuck them. <laughs> well said. Well, fuck said. them because pro wrestling stopped out cancer this weekend. Well, you know what? I, I, I think I think my whole deal and like I don't I don't like quoting people, but Triple H should say something a couple years ago that like really stuck with me, and it's no matter whether it's WWE, TNA, AEW, you know, Ring of Honor, indie wrestling, whatever. If you can go to a show and legitimately say that you didn't enjoy at least one part of it, there's something fucking wrong with you. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Absolutely. You're probably, that ki- you're probably that kid on the phone when the wrestler was sitting beside you. Oh, shit. Remember that? Wait, no, no, no. I got a better one. It was like my second show. No, no, no. It was my first show. It was Fans Bring to Weapons. And I'm <laughs> sitting there, and you just see Beastman go out, go out of the ring. Like, he just stopped everything. Goes out of the ring, goes up to this kid on his phone, and just takes the phone, turns it upside down, puts it on the kid's lap, and then just gets back in the ring. And I'm just like, that's fucking genius. Like, he really just did that. And it's just like, that, and that's why I love indie wrestling. And that's why, like, I love what I do with it is because, like, at the same time, I'm working and I love what I do. But then at the same time, like, I get to sit there and I get to watch these matches. <clears throat> you know what I mean? And I get to see, like, every aspect and pay attention to it all. And just like little moments like that, like the interaction, that's what any wrestling is all about. When you see these, you know, when you see guys like Rev or, you know, Wayward Sons or whoever going out there interacting with these fans and it, it just gets the crowd more into it. And that's that's why I absolutely love about this. Mm-hmm. Whereas, I mean, with WWE, you're getting the whole crowd into it. But with the indie, you're getting that one on one interaction that, you know, it makes people want to keep going back. Especially with Nathan, like Nathan Allridge at Black Diamond Wrestling, it, his trash talk to the fans. I'm trying so hard sometimes not to die. Um, what is this? Is kind of an aside from everything. But what, what is your favorite Nathan Allridge insult? I don't know if I can really. Can I say it on here? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just. You can say anything on here. I just said Randy Orton was a bottom. So. Okay. Um. <laughs> I was sitting ringside, doing commentary. And he just looks at this kid and goes, you're adopted. <laughs> I'm not going to get into the story. Nathan apologized. Everything's good. But when I heard him say it, my eyes lit up so bad. I was just like, did, did he really? Like, that is like heel moment of the year. Like, And he does it so well. Like, I, 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 kudos to him. Honestly, and and I and I know he like I I I know how he felt about it, but at the same time, like it was just like that. Again, your interaction with the fans is gonna is gonna be what's gonna keep coming back. You know what I mean? Like a hundred percent. And m- an unfortunate moments like that, even though you know he made it right, unfortunate moments like that is what makes it relevant. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. I, and and again, I just I I, I love every aspect of it. And I love the ones that are going to spell that or stop yelling at me. Stop yelling. You're going to give me ear cancer, kid. Um, and just completely soft spoken outside. When he, it's weird. When he grabbed the mic mm-hmm. at the last show and said, I've seen this before, except he got a he got a future endeavor letter from WWE or from his last job. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, dude. Like, how do you like and, and, and everything he comes up with is right off the top of his head. Mm-hmm. He just reacts. And that, that, that's something that you can't be taught. That's natural. And I, I don't know. That just, you respect well, the hell out of the guy for that. All right. Bringing it back around to Monday Night Raw. Monday Night I know Raw. Mike's been very excited about it. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, yep. Uh, so, so, so is, are we, you know. I, I'm two for two. You're two for two? In hmm. the King of the Ring. My King of the Ring predictions. Oh. I'm, I am two for two. Okay. Wow. All right. Yeah. I didn't fill out my bracket yet. Is it too late? Um, theoretically, yes. Oh, okay. Because it's it's started. This is why I don't get into fantasy football. I'm, I'm never good on this. It's title. too much work. It is. It is. It was a pretty extensive bracket. Um, I'm I'm just King Ricochet or bust, sir. 
Oh, uh, it's not gonna happen. No, no, no. I don't see McIntyre taking it either. Nope, neither do I. Mm. Uh, I see Ray Andrade. Mm. King, King Andrade. I can see it versus King Mysterio. Yep, like mm. Andrade wins King of the Ring. He challenges Mysterio Hell in a Cell mask versus crown probably mm. since they don't want since, since i'm sure charlotte doesn't want his her boy toy shaving his head mm-hmm. so yeah mass versus crown flair still the name flair still means something in this business apparently <laughs> i'm sure <laughs> <laughs> yeah sure it does yeah, yeah a little bit yeah a little yeah, bit why not just don't why live not? up to the same legacy that he did Mm-mm. on well on the outside well, of the ring mm-hmm uh yeah, I think I think. Let's be fair. Or the inside of the ring sometimes. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Uh, all right, anytime after two thousand four. Listen, listen. If Charlotte, <laughs> if Charlotte, <laughs> if Charlotte just like rips her robe off and starts like elbow dropping a book at some point, I'm not like mad at that. Okay. That's fair, but that uh, that will also mean that the dementia has started. Oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if yeah, anybody's gonna that's be gonna mean. listen, if anybody is gonna be super fun with dementia, it's probably gonna be Charlotte. Come on. Mm. Mm, I don't know. I think Bailey would be more fun with dementia. Point taken. <laughs> Going around hugging trees, hugging cars. <laughs> yep. We get to the big, uh, the big questions here on this show. <laughs> what will Bailey hug next? <laughs> yes, we, we tackle we tackle the big topics. Um. You mentioned uh, uh, you only had about 30, 31 and a half minutes of uh, Jerry Lawler tonight. Um, unfortunately, I missed most of the reason why, because we went to get tacos. tacos. Ah, okay. And that was a um, mistake. Hey, yeah, I'm sorry. Sir, you, you missed the fiend. Yes. Well, I got to see the replay because they put it on immediately on Twitter, apparently. Oh, wait, you mean Raw does replays? Uh, I've never noticed that before. Yeah, well, 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 that was even we saw that on Twitter before even they came back from but commercial, right? You know what? I you know what else I did like because there's a lot of little things that they are starting to change on Raw, and and I picked up. Hold on a second before you get to that. Partner okay. is is calling out that the name Flair is good for selling uh, selling uh, wireless cell service. A uh, shitty wow. wireless cell service at that. There you go. Anyways, your we point. are not sponsored by Cricket Wireless. No, 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 no. Your point. Doo-doo. Um, <laughs> we <laughs> we got the street profits in uh-huh. at the end of the show mm-hmm. for not only a recap. Mm-hmm. So instead, in lieu of doing a replay of what's happened tonight, <laughs> we get fresh. Con- no, I'm serious. We get fresh content. And they also talk about what's happening on SmackDown. Mm-hmm. So that was good. You know, I love what they're doing with them, though. Like, I, I didn't like that they didn't have their titles on them this week. Well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, that's that's one thing. And I did notice that. But just the fact that, like, okay, keep them on NXT. Because I, I honestly believe that the line needs to stay, at least for right now, the line needs to stay NXT needs to stay NXT. Mm-hmm. But bringing them in, they are pure entertainment. Mm-hmm. Oh, they 100%. are. 100%. But... The funny thing is, they're better in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> not wrong, not wrong. <laughs> like that. That's that. But it's a, in the but, ring. but isn't the biggest problem one of the bigger problems uh, with NXT or is coming up is is nobody knows what to do with them character wise. But now we're establishing them character wise on the higher on television Raw, yeah. on Raw and pay per views mm-hmm. before you even get to see their in ring stuff. Sorg, they may be on USA for another purpose. Go on. It, it's a possibility that they may be on there to eventually go to a different night on USA. But, 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 what? Oh. It's a possibility. Like, uh, nothing's official no, that no, I know no. of. Purely speculation. A lot mm-hmm. of things coming through about NXT is going to pick up. Yeah, uh, purely speculative slot. that the first week in October we may have nine live hours of professional wrestling on television. Okay, what what slot? What day and what slot is AEW going into? When- uh, Wednesday is eight to ten. So, is NXT going to be competing directly in theory? Yes. Because uh, the Chrisleys got themselves into a heap of trouble. <laughs> Tina was bringing that up in the chat room. And I, I'm like, oh, that makes a lot of sense mm-hmm. now. I give up on them. I'm on the, sorry. On the Chrisleys? Yes. 
You were giving them a chance? I was. You should have given up on them before before they started. Well, I mean, like, okay, like, so my my family watch it. I never started with them, so there was nothing to give up on. Well, I mean, okay, you ever watch something that's so stupid that it's funny? You mean like the Steve Austin show? TNA. Oh, God. (laughs) TNA used to be so good back in the day. It used to be. Hey, by the way. It used to be so good, then it used to be terrible. Then it used to be so good again. Then it used to be terrible. Now it's eh. There was a good tweet by Jordan Grace uh, this week that said, um, uh, if you still think that uh, uh, TNA Impact's really, really shitty, you probably haven't watched an episode in 2019. That's fair. but um, So I want to put that it, out is, there. Is it still the same commentary team? Hashtag because give Impact that's why a I chance. Stopped. Um, well, Sorg, no I mean, one can even find it at this point. Well, I mean, I wouldn't when when we did the spot with them in March. It was Demore and Josh. Oh, yep. See, you already you you you, you lost the sale. So I... <laughs> you lost the sale. I can't. Still working on getting you unblocked, sir. No, it's fine. I don't know. Maybe it's I'm fine. blocked now. I don't know. Maybe maybe the last show didn't go as good as I thought it did. Anyways, <laughs> the point was, what were we getting at here? The Chrisleys. The Chrisleys. The Chrisleys uh, screwed it up, so we get more wrestling because uh, that does so well. I'm so okay with that, though. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know how I'm going to time it out to watch it all. Mm-mm. But... Oh, you think you're going to have problems with that? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Well, I, I oh, guess boy. you know, uh, as we as a we win our Tuesday night wars, um, we'll uh, have to uh, find space for a Wednesday night war. Sword uh, podcast. Uh, let, me, let me see if I can. Let me see if I can try it one more time, guys. Mm. Been trying to dust it off. <clears throat> let me. <laughs> All right, you got a few I'm, weeks. You, you got a little bit of time. Yet. You got I'm a little not bit of time. Yet. You got until October to get back to that. Can I yeah. at least get a live musical guest? <laughs> what? Musical guest! Yeah. Elias! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, and oh, starring Becky Lynch. You know, we could. I mean, if you want, we could just get Krista Joseph to, to, to do a soundbite for you to, you to know, save her voice. We, we or or just, just invite them on every week Sorg, simply we to do the intro. Have, Sorg, can we start a petition mm. for a for a live two hour Lucha Underground on Wednesdays in October too? <laughs> listen, listen. And the can pitch, we just start that petition? Can I help you out, Mike? Fine? Can I help you out? And the pitch yeah. will be the lucha that we did across the street in the parking lot here with Sam uh-huh. Adonis. Uh-huh. Um it, that will be the show. Sure. Wait, hold on. Is this where they do the Lucha show? Yeah, that parking lot right You're over there. You're shitting me. Right where, you go, <laughs> right, right, right where you got those tacos over there? Yeah. Yeah, that was it. Uh, all right, hold on. You Brandon, have to call me next time they're having it. They don't. They, well, I mean, I call everybody, but I... I better be on top of the list. I, I mean, you'll, <laughs> I will tweet it. That's fine. And you're on my Twitter. And I don't think I'm on your Twitter. But uh, no, he has. He's been doing those wrestle rexes. Why? Why are you not on my Twitter? What the I don't hell? use Twitter. Even, how did you? Even how do you get here? on someone's Twitter? Get right into them, DMs. Brandon. Brandon in the chat. Um, we're not going to mention Jim Cornette because he's a fucking asshole. Yeah, well, there's that too. Um, <laughs> if you think I, Jim Cornette matters in 2019, you can go fuck yourself. Except that thing they did on uh, on uh, AMC. Nope. Or, nope. Um, no. Nope, no. Nope. No. 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 Hey, no. Sorry. Him, him and Vince Vince Russo going at each other. You know how fucked nope. up it is. I I'm, keep trying. No, to... I'm sorry. I want both of them to go the far the fuck away. Um, Tina's you know, update. you know how I said I don't want anyone wrestling over forty on TV. Yeah, that goes for on Twitter. Too. Tina, <laughs> Tina's calling out the the announced team for Impact is actually Don Callis and Josh okay. Matthews. Yep, still lost. The sale. Okay, okay, there we go. Still all lost. Right, the sale. That's right. actually a worse sell. You know, I don't mind Josh Matthews. I haven't like heard him in like a long time. That's why you don't mind him. Okay, do you remember? <laughs> do you remember um, Afterburn and? Um, Yes, uh, he was great in WWE. What was he what was, was the fan, one for SmackDown was, that he ran? Velocity. Yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, the, um, the one hour replay. They would do it on Saturday nights. AM Raw. No, the, AM. that was Afterburn. Metal. Oh God, what the they've hell? done so many of Velocity. Those but no, but but Josh Matthews in WWE was fine. Yeah. yeah. As soon as he adopted the heel Michael Cole persona in commentary, which he, he was fucking been, ter- which he hasn't been. Forever. I don't. I don't care. He's just like he's. I out the don't door now. care. 
Fuck it, that guy. He's dead to you. I get it. I get it. He's yeah. dead to you. You're blocked to him, and and it's like you don't exist to Wait, each other. Wait, he blocked you? Oh, he's he's blocked. I, I'm blocked Mad by Mike Impact is... as a company. Yeah. Yeah. Which is funny because I didn't tweet about them. Which is from my account. So okay, here we go again. Yeah. So yeah, I know. Every time we have to Mayhem explain. Show is not blocked. Nope. Just him. <laughs> yep. So they were fucking paying attention. Mm-hmm. Okay. And they're like, listen, those other guys, they're trying. That Sorgatron, he's really fucking trying. Maybe we'll hire him to do a thing one day. But anyways, that Mad Mike, fuck that guy. He's going to go work for WWE anyways or something. This, and, this gonna, why, and then they're going to fire why, him. This is why when I live tweet shows under the Man. Mayhem hashtag, I tag myself so people know who to get angry at. Man, I can't wait for the day. The day when you're just like, oh, man, I don't work for a three-letter company anymore. And then you mm-hmm. have somebody else's tape library to to to, to watch. No, I'm, no, I'm not. Actually, you can thing. mostly log it from memory. I, I wouldn't want to, Sorg. Uh, that's, a, that's a therapist hobby. What if we, we don't, got, wanna, what if we don't get, want to relive those things. What if you got paid in Canadian money? No. It better be a shit ton of loonies. That's all I'm saying. Shit ton of loonies and metric. Yeah, metric. Metric ton <laughs> of toonies. I love how you had to check that. <laughs> I was I was double checking my head. I'm like, yes, yes. They Hold use. on. Got to do the math. Got to get the conversion rate. Okay, I wanted to make are. sure the conversion rate worked out in my favor. So wait. Does this track. Speaking of both three-letter company, well, the one that used to be big and then the one that still is. Um mm-hmm. I mean, technically, Cause... Impact isn't a three-letter company anymore. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. It's just Impact now, isn't yeah, it? It's yeah, it's a, a six-letter Does six company. Does WWE sure. have oh. the rights to their library now? No. Then how are they? Because like, if you notice, like a lot of the things, like a lot of things that they did with AJ, mm-hmm. uh, a lot of the things that they they pulled courtesy over for, like, of uh, GW. They they, they, they license they license that. Okay. Same thing with the Ring they, of Honor get... stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So oh, the... trust me, Listen. if WWE had their tape library. You'd see so many more DVDs and so many more. Holy specials. crap! Are you yeah. ready for the like, best of AJ there'd be, Styles? Oh my there'd God. be a Kurt Angle special. There'd be an AJ Styles special. Mm-hmm. Hell, a, we a may, Samoa Joe special. We Jesus. might even get a Christian Cage mini episode. Uh huh. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, you would. All about the peeps. I liked him back then too. Mm-hmm. Me too. I have his shirt. The instant classic, Christian Christian Cage. The the TNA great. video game was actually pretty good too. Oh, wow. Sword kick him out again. Whoa. It, was, it was not a bad game. The, okay, the, the, the storyline behind it, like the storyline mode, mm-hmm. wasn't bad at all. Yeah, the, until the they brought it sucked. to TV. Until they brought it to TV. What do you mean? Suicide. suicide. Wasn't Suicide already in? Nope. No. Suicide debuted as a character in the video game. Yes. My timelines are really that messed up then. Uh, yep. yep. Wow. Yep. Yeah, suicide was a character in the video game that they brought to television, and mm. and once again allegedly put poor Christopher Daniels under another mask. <laughs> Wait, Christopher, Christopher Daniels was suicide for a while. I mean, I I, I remember allegedly. the rumors, allegedly. But then whenever he took the mask off, and it was uh, um, Good no, what does he go? Suicide was like four different people. Yeah, yes, yeah, suicide was like eighteen different people. Wow. Yeah. The la- the last time suicide existed, it was Teddy Joystick. But then you remember when they switched into manic? Yeah, yeah. And I... then Hulk so- and then Hulk Hogan told him to take the mask off. Yep. Well, and... that was because that was um, uh, who was underneath the mask? Teddy Cause... Joystick Perkins. T.J. Perkins. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, who was faking suicide? Because there was somebody who was faking su- Um, he went to WWE for a little bit. Uh. You think TJP? No, not TJP. Um, fake suicide? There was a fake I don't, suicide I don't in remember. DNA. Um, God, I, 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 let's let's stop talking about suicide. In yeah, just it's, in general. It's just gonna make me sad. <laughs> that it's, was Frankie Kazarian. Oh, it was probably Austin Aries. Austin Aries. That's who it was. Oh. Yes. Because I was gonna say fake fake Aust went went to WWE. Yeah, that was Austin Aries. Yep. Anything else you want to touch on about our Monday nights? Uh, we have new tag team champions. Yes. New tag team champions. That and was perfect. Yeah, and we're and we're gonna get the tag team champions who feud with each other feud, Yay! which always worked out. We haven't had that in a hot minute. So yeah, I'm we okay have, with when's it. the last time we had that that it wasn't leaning into WrestleMania? 
no Ooh, comment. It's, oh, right? it's been a while. Like, it's usually that. You know what? I'm going to do some research. Uh-huh. And I will get back to you on that because now I'm curious because mm-hmm. I know it's been a while. So I'm right. okay with them bringing it back. Um, Production note. I enjoyed mm-hmm. that we had the uh, guy in the corner interviews on ring entrances, but then it blew up to a full screen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Little thing liked it. I just mm-hmm. noticed something different. Um, you can really tell that they're putting an effort for it. Oh, now. wow. Tina, Tina's already there. Seth and Dean was the last time. Oh. Okay. Thank, thank you, Tina. And huh. that would not have been leading into a WrestleMania. Nope. That was probably leading mm. into... Oh. Money in the Bank, maybe? Mm. Wow. Maybe? I don't know. I. Uh... Ooh. Okay. We need a trivia night. Yeah, we do. We, we need, need a wrestling we, trivia you night. Know, you know what we need to bring back, Sorg? Hmm. Mayhem, uh. game sh- Mayhem Game Show. Dude, if you guys want to put the assets in that, I, I told God. you before... If somebody God, I, wants to, I have so much. I have so many more trivia things. Now though. we're on Twitch. Uh, we are now on the Indie Wrestling US Twitch for our live streams here, and man, I bet that would get over over there. <laughs> the wrestling game show. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, that was fun. All right. Well, on that note, Nick, anything else big from tonight you want to touch on? As you're uh, sinking ever so slightly in that couch, I'm going to time oh, lapse you sinking into that couch. So loving this couch right now. Mm-hmm. Um. Honestly, and and this is what's been like really bringing me back into watching TV again. The Fiend is just I I'm sorry, that's just the best thing that they've come out with in I, I want to say years. Mm-hmm. Um and the, the Firefly Funhouse like it, it's it, that's one thing that in, in WWE that's really got me excited just because of the, you know, the, the split personality, just everything that he's doing with it. And then he's capitalizing on the character. The fact that they're, you know, he basically has free range over it. Mm-hmm. And he's running with it completely. I love it. Plus, even though we didn't get to see it tonight, and we probably won't see it on TV, the lantern, Oh, that's man. big for me. I'm I, sorry. That's just phenomenal. I kind of wish the lantern would just replace with the head of every legend he takes out. You know how much money that would cost? <laughs> They got it. Come on, they got it. Okay, but how are you gonna do Kurt Angle? I mean, no, no offense, Kurt. I, I I love I love you. Don't like I respect you so much. But how are you gonna get a handle on the bald head? It's a jack o' lantern. <laughs> are you saying you put a a pumpkin top like like this? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, actually, no. Here's how. Here's how. I got you. Okay. Got Let you. me hear this. Here's how you do the <laughs> handle for Kurt Angle. You put the wig on. With the little head, with the little um, the old wrestling. school one. Yeah, with, with when when he first got shaved bald, he had, he had the wig with the wrestling gear on. That's will, the top of the lantern. I will never forget. I mean, this is going to sound so bad. I'll never forget when Hogan pants him in the ring. Mm-hmm. With that, on, that was just priceless. Yeah. Wow, I totally forgot about that though. They should do it. They should. Like, and he, what I really want them to do, and they're never going to do this. Everyone that he takes out shows up as a puppet in the funhouse. Speaking of puppets, I'm not trying to get off topic on this, but what this show? I don't know what the topic <laughs> is anymore. We don't. To be fair, we're talking so much about puppets, and Bobby F. J. Town's not here, so that's somebody that's... check on him. <laughs> but um, the fact that like when I when I saw like that they brought all that stuff to shop. And I was like, this is like, this is pretty cool. Like the mask, until I saw somebody wearing the mask at Raw. And I was just like, eh, it wasn't what I was really expecting it to be. But then again, nothing really is when it's like a redo, like a, like a prop makeup, oh, whatever you want to call it. Especially like, because that Tom Savini mask is Fucking gorgeous. Awesome. It's gorgeous. And he's one of the best in the business. Like he's the one who does. I'd say like he all... is the best. I'd say he is the best. He like, does all cool. the masks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like you can't really recreate that. No. I do like that they're try that they're yeah. trying. Yeah. But the puppets I, Mercy I, looks good I, and Rambling Rabbit looks good. I want a Rambling Rabbit. I'm not gonna lie. I, I want a Rambling Rabbit puppet. The boss, I mean, and, and I think Mike, you brought this up last week. Um, but the boss and we all know why it doesn't look like a certain somebody. Um mm-hmm. but they should have done it. They should have. <laughs> 
<laughs> it it would have sold out. I know. They would, that would have been gone within 12 hours. It would have been done. Mm-hmm. It would have sold out. They would have had to, like, order a new shipment of them. When Oh, my God. Whenever he first came, like, through the door with the devil horns, and I'm like, that's Vince. And mm-hmm. I'm just like, how is he letting him do this? Like, this is phenomenal. I well, was... I mean, I, I think they were already in the can. And there was nothing he could really do at that point. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing to be done at that point. I'm getting my first look at these. Uh, I, I actually love this iteration of the boss. Because, <laughs> you know, again, it looks, you, you looks can't. more like Eric Bischoff. What, the one on Chop? <laughs> yeah. He looks more like Bischoff now. He does a little bit. He does a little bit. But it's still fun. That's Which still I'm, fun. I'm still okay yeah. with. And you can yeah. get the mask. That... Actually, oh, no, wait, Sorg, is it Ted Turner? <laughs> oh my. Did they yeah. model after Ted Turner? We're gonna get into the wrestling business, <laughs> guys. Thank you oh, so much, boy. Nick. You got uh, you'll be on pay per view this weekend. I will. You'll be on I pay per view mm-hmm. Angel Gate Wrestling. Yes, sir. Check out more information Angel Gate on Facebook. Follow uh, me on Instagram. I'm that places. one guy from Pittsburgh. What? Yeah. That's your that's your Instagram. That's my Instagram. That, man. One, that one guy, guy from, from Pittsburgh. Guy from Pittsburgh. <laughs> I don't think I follow you on that. <laughs> you need to find me. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm I'm like it's literally that one guy from that Pittsburgh. one guy from Pittsburgh. Hold on, I nice. gotta, I gotta figure that's this a good, out. I'm surprised that handle wasn't taken. I right, like uh, there's that one blonde kid. <laughs> um, you have and you have a lot of underscores in yours. Well, okay, I hold I on. put the spaces. Come in. Come on, the underscores are bullshit. No, I put no the spaces in. No wonder you in. got it. And you're just taking pictures of beer. What are you, a hipster? That wasn't beer. That was that was orange soda. And oh, I even is. tagged you guys in it. Oh, that is. That's here. <laughs> yeah. I see All the right. chair. Less mad. Less mad. Yeah, I do see the chair. <laughs> okay, that makes more sense now. I have to get a Facebook page going, though. I really do. Mm-hmm. I've been behind on that. Well, now that you're international superstar on IP per view, I know, the right? I stand for international. <laughs> that's what I've heard. I... <laughs> I can't, I can't take Ronnie Nicole's international thing though. I, I really can't. Part, there is a Ronnie, part on waffles with women that where they at, they were talking about eHarmony and keeping keep in mind these girls were like fetuses when eHarmony was a thing probably, <laughs> and they asked what the E stood for. Eternal? No, eHarmony. Ele- ele- eHarmony. Okay. Like email. Oh, okay. Everything See, was E because it was like 2000. Nuh-uh, there and was then A-I-M. Apple, and then everything was I. Yes. We had the E's, the I's, and now we have the, what do we have now? O's. The O's? Wait. What's I don't know. I, I assume A all started with A, then E, then I, then O. Did and we just go, U. did we just go, I, I think we just went um, uh, old, old McDonald on this thing. Yes. Okay. And he did have a farm. Mm-hmm. And on that farm, he had a fiend. <laughs> this, this. Let wow. me in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yowie, wowie. <laughs> and on the that yowie note, here and a wowie there. <laughs> Thank done. you so much, everybody, for being a part of the show. Nick, uh, we, we found your Instagram, madmike4883 on the tweets. YouTube.com slash Poppy. I've been listening to some Poppy on our wrestling road trips this weekend. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. And also, <laughs> if you haven't seen Rookie of the Year, oh my go God. to your local Target. $5. It's a steal. What Blind is... buy it. Call what? the Mayhem Show. Tell us about your Rookie of the Year reports. Wow. Wow. So I'm just going to call in randomly. I love you. You're just like on the track to try to make this guy your friend. Me? Sorg, Sorg, he already follows he, me on Twitter. We are friends. Yeah, he may have lost Impact Wrestling, but he got the Rookie of the Year. Sorgatron on the tweets as well. <laughs> and thank you, producer Mister, for not tolerate, uh, for tolerating us still doing <laughs> the show on Monday. Tolerate. Well, I mean, you haven't seen the look she's been giving me. We'll oh, see I know guys. what they are. We'll I see know thank you. And thank you to the chat room. Like, I love that you guys are hanging out here. I mean, Potter, I know it's way past your bedtime. Good seeing you at Rise in Springdale. Jonathan, Mil- J- John Fun is in there. We haven't seen him in a while. Katie's oh. like, who's Tom John Fun? I was like, oh, you should know who he is. He's been a mayhemer for a while. Of course, Tina out there out west. Uh, Brandon in the KC, uh, Alex out there in California, our internationalness, and I saw a lot of your other names popping in throughout the night. Thank you for our Monday fun time. Speaking of which, before we go, Uh-oh. John Fun just finished. Uh, just ah, I can't even talk. Just followed me on Instagram. There you go. So, thank you. 
<laughs> and <laughs> we'll see you guys uh, Tuesday night. We will have Scarlet of Angel Gate and Fright Society with us uh, on uh, the regular Mayhem show. And I have nothing else for you guys uh, <laughs> right now. <laughs> it's going to be a very busy week, and we'll see if I survive. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. Wait, just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.